Have you ever played poker? Well, today I'm going to teach you all how to cheat at the game. <laughs> uh, how to stack a deck in your favor so that, that way there's no way that you will become the loser or at least make it extremely unlikely. Um, if we're going to stack a deck, let's go for the gusto. Let's go ahead and stack it with the aces. So, uh, let's see, we're going to first we're going to have to pull them out, locate the aces, and then there we go. The aces. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stack the deck using an overhand shuffling method. Probably the easiest way to do this, okay? Normally you would only stack about three cards, uh, otherwise people are going to know you're cheating. But in this case we're going to go for the gusto and we're going to do a fourth card. And what we'll do is we'll put that card on the bottom. Now, what you're going to do is take the number of players that you have, which in this case, uh, let's say we're, we'll do a standard game of poker, there's five people, us being the fifth player we're dealing. Um, so you would take two times the number of players plus one. Uh, and that would be 11. So you're going to run off that amount of cards. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, and what we're going to do is take one minus the number of players, one, two, three, four, the number of players, one, two, three, four, five, then one, then the number of players again, one, two, three, four, five. And what you do is have your buddy cut exactly to the right spot and you should be good to go. Now if I didn't screw up, I should be dealing myself the winning hand. Now, the problem with this is it's not really good enough for you to have a good hand. Um, you got to get the other guys put you in too, so you got to give them good hand. Otherwise, you're not going to get any money on the table. So I mean, you know, everybody's going to fold. Nobody has anything here. This guy's got probably a two pair. About the only person that's actually going to go ahead and play with me. So, um, so this time let's just let's try to go ahead and get these guys. Play, play with me here, so let's try. Alright. I'm not doing so hot right off the bat here, so you can tell. Okay. This guy is working on a flush here. At all hearts except for that spade, so this guy got two pair. Queens and, and a seven here. This guy's looking really good with four twos. And uh, this guy's got, got a solid pair, so uh, maybe we can get him to play too. So. Um, first going around here, what we'll do is, uh, he's working on a flush, let's get rid of that, that six. And, uh, let's go ahead and give him his flush. That person over there, we're going to go ahead and take that and give him his full house. This person's more than likely going to stay on what they got, they really can't really improve on that. This person, on the other hand, though, let's go ahead and get rid of these three and see if we can improve on his chances. Giving him a full house. But you see, what he really should have done did was uh, get rid of one of those jacks. Because then he would have stopped me from getting my royal flush. 